So what I'm doing here is removing the valve body out of an A340, oh sorry, A341. This is actually from a JZX100 chaser. Uh, I believe it's the same gearbox um, with a different bell housing though. You can see this one's a J1. Um, I believe this is the same gearbox that you'll find in uh, JZS 171 crowns as well as uh, JZS, uh, sorry, JZX 110 chasers. So this is uh, what they call the no kick down cable or the um, the four solenoid uh, box. So you can see it's got one, two, three, four. The older ones have um, a cable kick down. So what I've done is I've just taken the filter off. There's no secret on how the filter goes. It uses these pickup points here, one, two, and three pickup points. Um, so I've taken the filter off and I took a heap of pictures on how all of this sat and the retainer clip that I've just put over here. Uh, this is the uh, little, um, where you uh, sort of your shift lever internal parts go. Um, yeah, so I took heaps of pictures of that, where that sat before. Um, those are your two internal pipes which go into that hole and that hole. And that hole and that hole. That hole there is not utilized. It is this hole connecting to this hole and then this hole connecting to this hole. All right, so what I've done is I've loosened all of the bolts. Now these long bolts run here, 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 and here. All right, so these bolts are all the same and they're about, say, 35 mil under head length. There's a couple of different sizes and lengths, so I'm just doing this for my own record as well. Uh, this little fella, from what I can see, is probably the, one of the shortest bolts. All right, so he is, he is about 22 mil under head length. All right, so I'll put him in a clean container. This, these guys, there seems to be a lot of these ones. This one's about 27 under head length. Let's kind of try and get it out of the out of the light there. So 27, so it came out of that hole there. I mean, I'm wearing gloves. You don't have to wear gloves. I just, it's easier to keep it, keep your hands clean, I suppose. You know, working with oils and whatnot. This fella, it's another short one. So 22. So those two are the same. Those two bolts there. This fella. Yeah, Twenty-seven. So same as those two there. This one, no doubt this one's probably gonna be the same as well. Yep. Okay. Short one, 22. Oh, this one's got a retainer clip on it. No, oh, it's not really a retainer clip, it was just where the wiring sat before. Again, I just took pictures of where everything ran before. These cables, um, they only went to one place, so don't be too shy. Um, just, you know, just get into it. There's only one place where they can go, the loom sort of dictates its own shape. Another 27. Sorry, I might have missed that one a little bit on camera. Seven. 
that's a, a shortish one, 22. One of these long ones, like along the front here. So that's a, uh, that's a 35er. And now this one actually had those underneath it. And that's another, oops, sorry. Hang on one minute. That's only a 15. I don't actually think it retained anything that went down into the bottom. So that probably could have stayed on. But never mind, I took taken it off because that's probably gonna get damaged in transit anyway. It's only you know thin sort of steel. And I'm sending this to a transmission shop to um, to have the valve body modified so it'll shift quicker, faster, uh, better, more efficient. Obviously that's what you want when you're um, upping the boost, getting more power, etc, etc. It'll help preserve the gearbox as well because you don't want it to be flaring mid-change when you've got four or five hundred horsepower. That's, uh, that's just silly. So hopefully this will go back together in the same way that it came apart. Um, I'm just going to put the camera down and I'm going to lift the valve body off and uh, place it over there. I'm trying to keep it as clean as possible. Obviously, you don't want to get this dirty. Um, so I'll just take this off, put it over there, and I'll pick up the camera again and give you a look at it. No doubt there's some loose parts that are going to be in here, like springs and whatnot, so I'll go through that in a minute. All right, so that's the empty... Well, that's without the valve body in it, and that's... Uh, that's the guts. Valve body sitting over there. I'm not going to pretend to be a transmission expert here. I don't really know what I'm looking at. So I'm just going to show you guys what the inside of a A340 or A341 looks like. Obviously you can see it's quite clean. Bit of oil, bit of discoloration on the oil, but um, you know that's pretty normal. What you don't want is it to be black and burnt and just smell like burning. That's uh, that's a pretty good sign to maybe start again with a different tranny. Nobody nobody wants to um, nobody wants to spend money on a converter and a valve body and then then just be a shit box anyway. So that's basically what she looks like. Now there are various ways of getting a um, a crisper shift. Um, modifying a valve body is doing it the proper way. A couple of people put shims under solenoids and things like that and it's sort of the shortcut way of doing it. Um, yeah, so again, I'm not an expert. I don't know exactly what I'm, what they're doing to it, but um, it's going to be modified and hopefully we'll do skids.